Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, it's me Fatima, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I would like to, to share with you a video about uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sunnah. Uh, let's watch together and then after the video I will do the comment. The final messenger from God was sent to the world as a mercy and guidance to help improve and guide those who open their hearts and accept the truth. The actions and speech of the Prophet peace be upon him were guided by the creator of the universe. Muslims call the traditions and actions of the Prophet peace be upon him the Sunnah. For example, something as simple as growing your beard and hair is regarded as Sunnah and there is immense reward for every believer who follows the Sunnah with the right intentions. Today, some may grow their beard and hair for the sake of fashion, while others may do it to be more like the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The reward is based on the inner intentions, which is known only by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is Al-Alim, the All-Knowing. Now, I want you to imagine for a second that you had in your possession the blueprint to success, a guide that shows exactly what you need to do to be the best version of yourself. From the very basics to the most intricate details, would you not do everything in your power to follow it? The fact is, we have this blueprint, and those who stray from it are not from the Prophet, peace be upon him. In an authentic narration, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Whoever turns away from my Sunnah is not from me. Al-Bukhari and Muslim This statement clearly highlights the importance of following the Sunnah. But Satan, the enemy of humankind, works tirelessly, day and night with his army to divert the world away from the truth. If we analyze the developing world over the past 100 years, we can see clearly how most of the world has gone in the complete opposite direction. Haram and sinfulness is celebrated and promoted by the so-called modern world. And the Sunnah is looked at like a backwards thing that has no place in modern Western civilization. We have seen footage from 100 years ago of how women in the UK were dressed. Most clothing was modest and the hair was covered similar to how Muslim women today cover themselves. The Messenger of God, peace be upon him, said that a time will come when women will be clothed yet naked. This prophecy is a reality that has been made evident today. Skin-tight clothes is a modern trend that displays the entire body as though the person is naked, yet they're clothed. When the world moves away from truth and guidance, it can only lead to misguidance and self-destruction. The previous generations were completely destroyed for their sins. Not the sins people do in private, but when evil becomes prevalent and accepted by the majority. Many prophets that came to warn the people about God were often tortured and killed. In Surah Yasin, Allah tells us about the people of Yasin. He sent two prophets to guide the people but they rejected them. Then Allah sent a third prophet to strengthen the two, but still, the people rejected the truth. When a man from amongst them came from the furthest end of the city to tell the people to follow the prophets of Allah, they killed him. And subhanAllah, he entered into paradise and said, if only my people knew. They rejected the truth and harmed those who wished to be guided. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then sent the angel Jibreel to him. He uprooted the main gate of their town and let out a cry that completely destroyed them. Thank 
modern world today has exceeded the limits that have been set by our Creator. If we do not work to reverse this damage, we may reach a point of no return. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who follow the Quran and Sunnah and live our lives according to the guidance we have received. Mashallah, mashallah, this video is wonderful and understanding. We Muslim, we need to uh, follow the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sunnah because we need to follow the teaching of the Sunnah and uh, we need to um, practice the Sunnah. And uh, this word is easy to be uh, manipulated, the Muslim, um, because it's very difficult to, to stay in this world. There are bad things like haram. So I recommend all Muslim to, to follow the, um, the Sunnah. So um, uh, read Quran, uh, pray all the times, uh, dress like Muslim and uh, speak like Muslim. And um, we need to be strong. Uh, we need to um, stay all together. So the Sunnah is teaching of the religion and uh, we need to practice the, the Sunnah and um, for, for to be a good Muslim and uh, to stay away from the Haram. And uh, yeah, so I hope you like my video and uh, if you have any question you can comment my, my video and uh, I will answer you and um, um, see you on the next video. Assalamu alaikum.